We all know the pressure of trying to look good on camera for our TikTok videos, our Reels, our YouTube videos, and all that kind of stuff. But what if I told you that there's another way to create videos? It's actually called faceless mini vlogs. We can actually stop creating this cycle of trying to capture our best moments and our flawless moments. But the good thing is, is that if you don't like to be on camera, you're going to love this training where I'm going to teach you how to do mini vlogs. Now, last week I created a video on faceless Instagram reels and you guys absolutely loved it. I got a ton of feedback from it, whether it was on here on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, you guys said that you loved that training. And so I thought I'd just create another one like it, but this time we're going to be talking about faceless mini vlogs yes you can create these amazing mini vlogs without even showing your face the goal here is to capture your stories through a mini vlog and captivating your audience without the worries of you having this picture perfect image because honestly it's all about the art of storytelling and let me tell you it is incredibly liberating to do videos and get through them really fast without even showing your face. No more stressing about the perfect lighting, putting your hair and makeup on for you and for you ladies, trying to look good on camera all the time. All you need to do is focus on just pure, unfiltered creativity. That's it. So in this video, we are going to dive into the wonderful world of faceless mini vlogs. Now, before we kick things off in this video, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to join our amazing community here on YouTube. And trust me, you won't want to miss a single moment of this adventure that I'm gonna be taking you on when I create my upcoming YouTube videos. Now, I'm gonna share my screen in just a moment to show you how to create these faceless mini vlogs. But before we do, I wanted to share my free resource with you. It's my free gift to you, and it is my faceless marketing playbook. It's where I share with you eight different ways to create faceless content. I know that you're going to absolutely love it. So if you want to download that for free, the link is going to be right below in the description box under this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, let's get into the faceless mini vlogs training. This training is going to be super quick and to the point um, because these are super easy to create. Um, one thing that I want to mention is that these vlogs can be uh, under 90 seconds long because of the platforms out there um, and because the attention span, you're going to make them short because these are for short form videos. I personally like to keep my vlogs under 90 seconds, but if you can keep it under 60 seconds, that's even better. So as you can see here with these um, videos going on inside of these mock-ups, is these are examples of what a mini vlog can look like. It doesn't have to be complicated. It just has to share the story. So let's go ahead and get into how to actually go about doing that. So first of all, what is a faceless mini vlog? This is actually one of my vlogs here on the left-hand side. You can see me taking footage of my house and my car. And then on the back end is a voiceover of me talking whatever I'm talking. So a mini vlog is like a bite-sized video diary, no more than 60 seconds. It's a fun way to share quick snapshots of your day, adventures, or even your thoughts. Mini vlogs capture the little moments that make life exciting without ever showing your face. So I hope this got you excited because, you know, we just don't have time to be sitting here, especially us ladies putting on our makeup all, all the time. Now, the benefits of faceless mini vlogs is real simple. Number one, they're easy to create and they require less time to edit, making them a convenient option for us content creators. The second one is that it reduces the on-camera anxiety. Creating faceless mini vlogs, they eliminate the need to worry about appearance, which can be a significant source of anxiety for some individuals, allowing creators to focus solely on the content. And then the third one is enhanced focus on content 
quality because with faceless mini vlogs, creators can focus more on telling great stories and sharing valuable information and displaying captivating visuals leading to higher content quality. There's two questions that you need to ask yourself before planning your faceless mini vlog. Question number one is, what is the desired outcome? Is it to showcase a new product or service offering? Is it to provide a quick and impactful business tips on sh or strategies? Is it to highlight your entrepreneurial journey or success story? Maybe it's your own success story or maybe you know your team member, a customer, a coaching client, whoever. It's a success story that you want to share. Is it to drive traffic to a website or a social media platform? For example, if you created a new YouTube video and you want to get traffic to that new YouTube video, are you going to create a mini vlog around that? Is it to present a call to action to generate a lead because you want people to get on your email list? What is the desired outcome? You always have to start with the end in mind. So what is the end goal that you want to happen after someone watches this mini vlog? Question number two is what is the main focus of this mini vlog? Are you going to be sharing how you overcame some challenges, some tough situations in your business that you overcame? Is it going to be maybe some productivity hacks where you're giving some tips on how to get more done in less time? Are you going to be talking about mindset or motivation where you're sharing how you actually go about staying positive and, you know, sharing motivated content that you're doing inside of your business? Or I should say things that are keeping you motivated to do the things that you're doing in your business. Is it about work-life balance? Are you going to be discussing how to manage, how you, how you go about managing your work and your day-to-day -day life and your personal life effectively, right? What is the main focus of this video. In other words, what is this mini vlog going to be about? So now I wanna transition into showing you a few examples, and then I'm gonna go inside of my phone to show you how to create it inside of a tool that I like to use called CapCut. And I do it all from my phone, and then I upload it to socials, and I'm done. So let's go ahead and erase this volume. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this page and raise the volume so you can actually hear the video just sitting here minding my business as usual and i find myself at the number seven spot of all time and then the number three spot for the last 90 days and then the number one spot for the last 30 days i don't know how i got there but i'm just doing what i do and that's it okay so in this video all i'm doing is sharing my screen of the leaderboards in one of the programs that I was promoting. And my call to action was to click the link in the, in the bio where I'm gonna teach them how to actually do that. So as you can see on the screen, it says link in bio if they wanna come learn with me inside of the results lab, which is one of my programs. Okay, so for this next one, um, this is a typical morning routine vlog, uh, mini vlog that I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this screen so we can take it from the top. First things first, head downstairs and take care of my boys. And then I'm gonna make myself some tea. I love to drink green matcha tea hot in the morning. It gives me so much energy. And by the way, check out my cup. It says she's got mad hustle and a dope soul. Thanks Angel, it was a gift from her. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a healthy breakfast. And then I'm gonna get my workout in. I gotta work on those muscles because you know, I'm getting older. But if you haven't checked out this machine right here, this is called the Body Boss. I found it on Amazon and I absolutely love it. And then I'm gonna go into my office and work on my morning affirmations. I think this is super important to get through your day. And then I'm gonna check my schedule and calendar and see what appointments I have going on. Make myself a green smoothie and then head on over over to the pool to enjoy the rest of the afternoon. And that's the day in my morning. All right, so as you can see in this mini vlog, I'm just basically show them, showing them my morning routine, right? So what I did was I took one day to actually record these little mini clips, and then I put them in CapCut to put them together, which I'm gonna show you how to do in a second. And then within CapCut, all I did, at, like after I finished editing the video, all I did was add the voiceover 
basically, you know, talked about what I was doing in that footage. All right, so now let's go ahead and jump into my phone and I'll show you how to do it in CapCut. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to click that white plus sign and add all of your clips. Then you take out that black Canva logo at the end, go all the way to the beginning, and then those little icons at the bottom, you're gonna scroll all the way to the right and you're going to look for the record icon, the little microphone. You click that, press it, it's gonna count down and now you can start talking into the phone, doing your voice over as you're watching the clips, telling you know what's going on and you just let it ride out and then you press that little checkbox the arrow up button at the top right hand corner to export it and then you can upload it to wherever you want. So if you enjoyed this training, you are absolutely going to love my faceless marketing playbook where I'm going to show you eight faceless marketing content ideas to help you get leads and sales for your business. So if you want to download that, the link is going to be right below in the description box underneath this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.